What's up guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Brad. On today's video, we're gonna be talking about how to properly prep stainless steel tube, and I'm gonna throw in a couple of tips to help you out along the way. Step number one, obviously you need to cut some form of material, whether that's straight tube or a bend. Now you can either use a carbide burr attached to an air grinder, or you can use a deburring knife it just depends on what situation you're in. Both work quite well. The most important thing in my opinion is making sure that your stainless joint fit up is absolutely on the money. Super duper flat is key. You can go ahead and check that on a flat surface like a granite block or a granite tile. Now, why I scotch bright all my material no matter what is there's always little surface imperfections and it just makes it look so much better. I've ran into issues where there's oxide layers on top of this material causing contamination due to cleaning processes from manufacturers. This just ensures that you have a nice clean surface, everything's wiped off. If you don't have a buffer with a scotch bright wheel, you can always do this by hand. I've done thousands of feet by hand. It looks super nice when you're done. After it's welded, it always looks amazing with that gold haze around your heat affected zone. Make sure to scotch bright the inside of the tube as well as the face of the cut. There's tons of things that can get trapped inside of the little tiny edges on a bandsaw cut. Acetone is key. Clean the part really well, no fingerprints. Make sure you're prepping the entire piece of material. And if you do use a rag that is not lint free, you can always take off the fibers by just using a propane torch to hit the lip of the part that might have the contaminants. Here's a clean prepped piece of material. Nice and clean on the inside, all acetone wiped down nice flat ground flush face. Let's go ahead and tack these together real quick. Another tip that I can give you, especially when you're welding up an exhaust or pie cuts, take the oxidation off of your tacks to ensure that you don't bring up any contaminants when you restart. This is just an extra step. And the one thing that I can tell you is do not scotch bright the weld joint after your part is tacked up if you can avoid it. What this is going to do is it's going to embed scotch bright fibers into that joint and unless they are taken out, which they are quite difficult to get out sometimes, they will leave contaminants on the surface of your weld. As always, there's a million different ways to do something. If you picked any tips up from this video, awesome, hit that like button. If you want to see more content like this, hit that subscribe button. As always, thank you so much and I'll see you next time.